Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 in the Ringed City DLC. Last time, we uh, killed Gale finally after a three hour long run. I might have not mentioned that in the video itself, but that took me over three hours. Um, but for today's episode, I have a few things in mind. I missed a few things, I've read up on a few things. And uh, we're back at the very beginning of the DLC, and as you might have heard already, there's something else flying around here. Because there's uh, an angel has spawned. Uh, he's not going to attack me, so that's good. But the stone-humped hag from the beginning is very much dead. So let's pick up the old woman's ashes and read up on that. Umbral ash of the old stone-humped woman with this shrine handmade will prepare new items. Things that have dreadfully run their course accrue at the great drag heap. This old woman was once the wet nurse of royalty. So the only royalty we know of is either King Lothric, which might have well be her, since we've heard a bit about her uh, in the description of Lothric's own armor. But there's also of course the royalty that we faced at the end. What the hell? There's a building moving over there. Um, at the end when we went to the Pygmy Lords, because there was a bit of royalty there as well. So, uh, don't really know who is to blame for that. But let's head further down, because there's a few more things I'd like to show you. But, see you guys in a second. So we're back in the building, uh, past the first angel that you normally encounter, where those two Lotric Knights are here. And there's actually a giant hole in the building right now, since, uh, well, the tower collapsing caused the building to crumble. I'm gonna have to beat these guys again. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go, that's one. And then... Finish this off. I do like that attack. It kinda cuts through enemies really, really quickly. So now this building is destroyed, there should be someone around here. Although I might have to do something else first. So let's cross the tower. Because now we can actually do that. And is he over here? Yeah, there he is. So this is an area we completely missed. Because we didn't think... Uh, well, I didn't think to go back to this area. Once we uh, saw that tower collapsing. But there's actually a, um, a character over here. So uh, let's have a little chat with this guy. Because he looks pretty cool actually. Hello sir. Oh. Look at you. You've got your head screwed on, correct? Fantastic. To meet a kindred spirit on this god's forsaken crag, call me Lab. I, I can't remember my real name, so let's just go with that. I have a feeling we're going to make a fabulous team. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. So this is Lab. Oh, in all honesty, there's something I should tell you. I'm... a hollow. Yes. I try to play it off. But I haven't a clue about my past. Who I was. Or what I lived for. Not even my own blessed name. That's why I've come here, searching for the Purging Monument. Said to be in the Ringed City, where the pygmies who found the Dark Soul at the Dawn of Fire reside. All I can say is... Those little stones aren't doing much to help me remember anymore. <laughs> so he's a very peculiar character. Well, that's the long and short of it. So if I completely forget who you are, don't be wroth with me. Come on, what else can I say? I'm a bloody hollow for heaven's sake. <laughs> but you don't sound like a hollow, so that's a... Uh... Well, come <laughs> Rather interesting. So Lab, one of the characters in this DLC that we completely miss, and I do apologize for that. Uh, we can actually go further here. I don't know what else is here, but I might as well check that out. There we go. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So, no death ahead, so you can drop down here if you want to, because there's an ash pile down there. 
And over here you fall onto the big guy. I don't know how this exactly works. So let's drop down. There we go. Ooh, where the hell are we now? There's an entirely new area over here. Interesting. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm almost at the edge of my... Ooh. Jesus. Ooh, this guy's a dick. Jeez, I lost a lot of Vestas on that guy for some reason. Titanite Chunks. Because this DLC is all about Titanite Chunks. God damn it, there's another one. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm losing it. Rolling. Jesus. Okay, so that was a bit of an annoying area. Oh, and this this just keeps going. This just keeps going. Whoa, 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 Jesus, motherfucking Christ. Okay. Okay, projected heal. Projected heal. Jesus. Okay. Jesus, come on. He's hitting me straight through my attacks there. There we go. I'm gonna have to take it easy because I'm starting to lose uh, a lot of health. Nothing here. Where else is this going to? There's like... Is that a fire? Closed door. And then a... A Lotric Knight. A Lotric War Banner. Because that's a weapon that that one guy was using. So... So the, sh the Great Shield guys in here are using... The flagpole that once carried the Lotric crest and guided the knights along uh, long ago. The tip of the pole is fitted with a sharply pointed decoration letting it serve as a spear. Lotric war banner waved the flagpole high in the air like the days of yore. Summoning an ethereal war banner that invigorates the attack of those who gather under it. Interesting. So this is of course Lotric in its entirety. I'm just gonna... Just gonna drop off here. Hopefully straight in the ash pile and not to my death. Whew, okay. So now we're back at the bonfire, which is good. Uh, cause I think we can actually find lap here as well. Still don't know how to reach that item over there. 
Oh, I think I might have found a way to that item on the tree branch. Oh, shit, 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 the angel saw me. Nope, dropping down. Now, where is Lap? I think I'm gonna have to reload this area, so give me a second. Well, while we're here in uh, Filing Shrine, I'm gonna give the uh, stone humped wow. woman's ashes to Gracious the handmaiden. And almost as if it had lived mere moments ago. Oh. Oh, forgive an old woman's idle prate. Still warm, she I'm says. I'm sure an ashen one such as thee would never indulge such base contrivances. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't <laughs> kill her. I don't know what you're implying here. Let's see if she sells anything interesting. Well, she sells the weapons that the woman was selling. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna buy all her uh, embers and I'll see you guys back in the Ring City. There he is. So he spawned back at the drag heap and here's Lap. Oh. I know who you are. Great to see you still in one piece. Come, I can see why they call this the Dreg Heap at the World's End. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the Ringed City rests below it all. Yeah, because it kind of does. Uh, <laughs> don't mind me. You needn't worry yourself with this nonsense. I just wanted to tell someone. I'm sick of old Humpty. I should stay quiet. Wait. I'll make it up to you. By letting you in on a secret of sorts. Past here, you'll find the remains of a giant earthen tower, half submerged in a poisonous swamp. Not a very nice place to visit. Only, there's precious treasure in the thick of the swamp. I didn't have any use for it, you see. So, sorry, I, I left the whole package behind. If I get the chance, I, I could go fetch it for you. But if that's too long to wait, go nab it for yourself. I know who you are. A righteous warrior. Yes? With a solemn duty to boot. Well, grab that treasure. That's as good a duty as any. So, there's treasure in the swamp, he says. We never fully explored the swamp, so we might actually have left something there. Last here. You'll find that not a very nice place. If I, I well, so there we go. Let's head towards the swamp. Is it over here? Maybe. Holy shit! Um. Ooh, go! No. Go. Jesus. There we go. Taking care of that guy. And I think the angel can't see me here. There's a few items in here as well, which is interesting. Soul of a venerable hand. Ooh. Okay then. Sorry guys, but you're on the only cover I can get around here. Can't see anything around here. 
Although there seems to be a path. Oh. Hi. Think up me hardy yo ho Yeah, going on a rampage again. There we go. Okay. So let's uh well we're still poisoned anyway. Does he leave something? No. Let's just walk through here and see what this item is. Night slab. That is that's a slab, so that might have been the treasure, I guess. Hmm. So he's still up here. Oh. Ah. Look at you. Aha. Uh -huh. You found the treasure. Bashing. Just bashing. You'll make good use of it, I'm sure. Now, Thank you. This is a little toast from me to you. Ooh, Siegbrow. Not much to speak of, but uh, bottoms up to the greatest warrior there is. Oh, Sigurd. So he's uh, toasting to Sigurd. Can I actually... Can I toast? Will you react to a toast? No? Okay. Well, thanks, Lab, for that tight night slab. <laughs> this really is a drag heap at the world's end. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the Ring City wrecked. Okay, so let's head towards the Ring City now and see if he spawns at his next location. Okay, so next up at the balcony, he should be here right now, I hope. Yeah, I think there he is. There he is. Hello, Lap. Oh, well, fancy meeting you here. A true blessing that we should seek the same place and find ourselves standing here together. I've got the last of my brew. Let's have our own little toast with it. Hey, more sea To my search and to your duty and to the joy that lies before us. Oh, All oh. right then. Bottoms up. <laughs> Is that a different gesture? Because, uh, let's try that as well. Come on, Lap. Don't leave me hanging. Okay, he leaves me hanging. Okay. Let's see if he does have any more dialogue over now, here. I'm off in search of the purging monument. Once I find it, everything will come back to me. Who I was. What I lived for. What my name was. And what terrible grudges I held. I don't know. I just have this feeling that... That's the kind of man I was. Oh, don't hold it against me. I only think I was. <laughs> you might already have a clue about who he, he really is. Now, once I find so, the Purging Monument. That is actually an area we haven't seen before. And I, I was thinking about that, that we might be able to access it. Because the Purging Monument is that big, right above my hat at the moment. That big slabby monument over there, but I still don't really know how to get there, so give me a second. No, you shall not. Okay, there we go. So one booted off the bridge and the other one, well, uh, killed. So now, there is actually an area, not this area. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that one? Oh, there's one actually here. That is interesting. We go killed immediately. What is this? The area that I? Yeah. Okay. So that's that tunnel. Okay. I'm on the right path. Okay. But there should be. 
Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't, I don't think I missed the area that I want to, to check. I'm just remembering that I did actually enter that room, but it, there was nothing there because of, uh, well, the fact that I didn't use, well, didn't get the, the lap uh, quest line done properly. Ow. There we go. And then I think it's in here. Yeah, there we go. There he is. So this is a... Uh, yeah, there's one chair left here. And there wasn't anything. I think there was one item here. And then, uh, of course, lap oh. again. And here we are again. Indeed. How goes things? I'm rather running in circles, I'm afraid. I can't find the purging monument. And I've searched high and low. What if it was never here in the first place? Oh, bloody hell. What do I know? Uh, I do Sorry. not know. I know it doesn't concern you. Seeing you all good and well, I... I just sort of spilled my guts to you. Just forget it all. Like a good hollow would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So he's looking for the purging monument, but can't find it. Well, similar to how we couldn't find it. But uh, by now I've uh, read up a bit, and I know how to do it. And it's actually almost impossible to find on your own, uh, as I'll show you in a second. But first I need to go down back to the swamp, and, uh, well, I'll see you guys there. So here we are, we're in the middle of the swamp, well, in the, rather in the beginning area. I cleaned up the place a bit so there's no uh, large preachers in my way, large locusts in my way. And now, for the next step, we gathered a lot of those young white branches. We need to use one of those and see what happens. I turn into a humanity from Dark Souls 1. Um, now I can walk around as this, well, float around a bit. And, oh, no, I can't run. God damn it. Okay, I can't run. Just trying to do that. Did somebody try to attack me? No, okay. Let's try that again. And there we go. So now I need to fly my way over back to the bonfire. Which is gonna take a while, so I might as well fast forward this bit. Um, normally, no young white branches just transform you into an item close... Buy. I think you can actually use it to transform into one of those darker crystals. Uh, but in here you transform into a humanity. Um, and well, this is required for this uh, bit. Because we can actually open up a secret passageway in this form. Funny enough. So let's go back to the bonfire. We opened up the shortcut to the dragon. Because that's also a prerequisite of this... Um, well, this, this puzzle, kind of could call this a puzzle. And then go into this room, and then over here to the right, there's actually an opening in the ceiling. And if we're a humanity, there's a ladder that drops down. This is freaking ridiculous. And then we can actually climb this. And of course, we turn back to our lovely self, in our lovely armor with our lovely sight. And then we can go all the way back up. And this leads into, well, we're going to see in a second, because I don't know myself. I just saw how I could open this uh, ladder. This is a pretty long ladder. This keeps going. Okay. Okay, so this might be the solution as to why I couldn't open that door. Where the hell are we now? Okay. Is there anything here? Now we're on, on that upper area, I presume. Um, I hear things. So yeah, we have a knight. There we go, that's one knight. There's another one coming. So I'm gonna wanna be uh, fully healed up, or almost fully healed up. Get over here, get over here. Oh no. Oh no. There's a, there's a giant over here as well. Hello, Zuli. 
because I've learned that this is actually Zuli. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna have to kill the giant. Where is he? There he is. Oh, there's archers. This might be a bit more involved. So I'm gonna try and loop around this place a bit. Ooh, that was a dragon. Shit, 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 shit. Damn it. Fuck. I had the giant, but yeah. Whew. Okay, there goes the giant. And now I should kill the ring knight as well. Which might be a problem because I always. Oop. Jesus. I hate these guys. There we go. Whew. 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 Okay. I think that should be everything. And now, which thing over here is the purging monument? Is, is this the purging monument? Where he was sitting? No. Okay. Okay. Let's take it easy. We're still alive, which is good. Uh, so there's a staircase going down. I'm gonna have to take that, I presume. Oh, there's a... I hear stuff walking around here. Oh. Oh. Oh, so now we're up here. Okay. Now there's a ladder. I should take the ladder. Good, good, good. So now this, this explains a whole lot, actually. About all the areas that I couldn't reach before. Okay. Thought you were gonna fall off there. A dragon head shield, so the normal uh, dragon head shield. Let's check that out. This shield, as hard as a great boulder, is formed by the head of the descendant of an arch dragon. The ringed knights, by command of the gods, stood amongst the ranks who set out to slay the dragons, but their contributions were never lauded. Dragon breath. And yeah, that's pretty much the same explanation as the great shield. Okay, and that must be the monument. That must be the monument. Just gonna get that item on the left here. Soul of a great champion. Fitting. Oh, wow. Okay, this looks... This looks pretty bad. Pray to the purging monument. Can drop down here if I want to. That is... Creepy. Oh, and of course those two... Those two knights have respawned. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with those then. So let's pray to the Purging Monument. Request absolution, request dissolution, and reinstate the King's Decree. What is that? Ah, okay, reinstating the King's Decree means that I re resurrect Adjudicator Argo, so uh, I resurrect the bon well, the boss fight at uh, the Cathedral uh, over there. So I'm not gonna do that, so just leave. And I think that should be enough to now go and tell uh, Lab that this place is available if he wants to. Ooh, wow, I killed him at the same time. That was awesome. That was awesome. Titan Knight's kill. So let's head back to Lab. But I think as I read, I had until... Okay. 
Apparently not. What did I come here in search of? Uh oh. Damn. Stop it. I'm unbreakable. 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 Speak of the purging Are monument. There we go. That? No. Yeah. S sorry. I, I know you'd never lie to me. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I'll speed right on over. It won't be long now before I know everything. Who I was, what I lived for, and what my name was. And I'll have you to thank for it all. And that is interesting. So I might be too late to do this. Because according to the documentation I'm just checking, the wiki I just, I'm just checking, um, you have until beating Gale to do this. Because if you don't do it, he becomes hollow. But I think he might just be hostile once I get to the the monument again. Or to his next area. So uh, give me a second and we'll head straight up over there. Ah, thank you. Most sincerely. I swear upon my birth name that I am your friend. No matter what might come out, no matter what I was, if you would do me the honor, allow me to be a true friend. Always. And of course I forgot to keep talking to him. I'm an idiot, so you need to keep talking to him. It won't be long now, before I know everything. Who I was, what I lived for, and what my name was. And I'll have you to thank for it all. Well, you're welcome, Lap. And I'm hoping I'll see you at the shared grave this time. So let's use a... Yeah, I'll see you guys there. So now, the shared grave a proper this time. Let's jump over the gap. And then, as I pointed out before, over here, over the rubble, to the right, Lap should be sitting. Hello, Lap. Patches squad kind of spoiling oh, the surprise finally, but you've come now i know exactly who i was and for that i've a little thanks to be giving go this way and peep past the broken staircase some awfully fine treasures just sitting there all alone <laughs> it'll change your life sounds familiar doesn't it i've much to thank you for so i'll say it again and again go this way and peep past the broken staircase. Some awfully fine treasures just sitting there all alone. What? Don't you believe me? Well, this time I'll believe I'd you. Much to thank you. Come on. Because, uh, of course, probably everybody knows who we're talking about right now. Here we go. A very, very familiar scene. And a very, very familiar boot up our ass. But this time in the right direction. Every age, it seems, is tainted by the greed of men. Rubbish to one such as I, devoid of all worldly wants. Hello, Patches. <laughs> and is a very famous evil laugh. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way we are. I'll stick you in my prayers. A fine dark soul to you. Goodbye, Patches. Because that's the last time we'll ever see him again. And that's the end. Well, a very fitting end to a character that has been in pretty much every... Every single Dark Souls game uh, up until now. Even Demon Souls, by the way. Because he has been in uh, Demon Souls as well. Uh, in which I think... It was Demon Souls that he was called Patches the Hyena, and not always Unbreakable Patches, as he was uh, known in Dark Souls 3. Um, but yeah, Lap is Patches, but now we have still one thing I'd like to do, because we can get actually something new here if I'm able to jump the gap again. Ah, shit. Yeah, I just respawned at the bonfire. There we go. And now if I go back to his room, yeah, there we go. His uh, armor set should be right here. Laps, helm, armor, gauntlets and leggings. So let's check that out. For one last eulogy to our dear old friend who in his last kick pointed us in the right direction. Steel helm of the amnesiac lap. Displayed armor helm that covers the head cleanly without even slight gaps provides heavy defense. Quite fit to conceal a hollowed body and indeed one's very identity. 
Uh, I don't know if the rest tells us anything more. Nope. Okay, there we go. So that's Lap's armor and the entire Lap quest line. Uh, we aren't done with the Ringed City yet. Next time, we're going to defeat ourselves a dragon. So get ready for that. But if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, well, as I said, we're going to try and kill Midir as our uh, probably very last episode of Dark Souls 3. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.